everyone, it's Catherine here from Inky Finger Cat. Um, I am going to do another page in my Christmas journal. So for those who have not seen any of the videos before, I created the signature using a mix of um, pattern papers that had come from magazines. Some of them were, um, like these were American Crafts ones, uh, these ones were Making Cards magazine. Yeah, making cards magazine um and so far i've only done one page which was this one um so you'll have to check back if you want to see how i made that one that's on a previous video um it was a little while ago so i'm not i'm not doing this like in order or anything like that hence the reason that this one is sort of like over halfway through the back of the book um so today i have got this picture so this is also from christmas 2020 the plan isn't that this will be only christmas 2020 it's not that plan at all mainly because christmas 2020 not a huge amount of photographs were taken partly because i had covid in the run-up um, and was still really recovering at this point even on this picture that was me my first proper day out of the house when we went for a little walk so there'll be stories to tell obviously about that particular day uh, hence i want to journal about it i also really like that picture even though i think i look really tired um and it was it's probably the last one that i've got with my pink hair oh no no actually the pictures that are on this one i had pink hair as well grab those ah! you can see by this point the roots were getting pretty bad so not long into January 2021, the hair has gone back to being brown until the, my hairdresser has finished her maternity leave. Um, and then I'll, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so this picture, love this picture. Even if I look really tired on it, I really like this picture of me. So I thought I've printed this one out on my daughter's sprocket. Um, I've bought some paper for it so that we can both use it because, well she's not using it really mm. oh i'm liking that so i'm going to go and grab some bits and pieces and start to construct the page okay so i've grabbed quite a few bits and pieces quite like the idea of creating a wreath on the background i really love this paper so don't i've come up with a bit of paper um and a bit of shiny card and i'm thinking don't really want to do very much else to go over the top of that paper because it's so beautiful but i've also got these pieces of trim that i think are really sweet and i'm wondering whether actually i just sew them on the edge so there's a bit sticking out off the edge of the page i've now turned over the page i've lost the page i'm actually working on there it is um so yeah i'm wondering if it's that but with this sort of coming out do i want it like that and then with the or do i want to do that with maybe with that coming over like that it covers more of that then And it could be tucked into that like that idea right so i'm going to take off um why is me not fully in washi tape okay, so not brilliant washi tape um i'm saying not brilliant and then it seems really sticky no it's not it's okay okay so i'm going to use this not brilliant washi tape just to Hold the stencil in place. Um, actually, thinking I might need to just fold it back. That's probably better. And maybe clip it into place. There we go. So clip it into place because I need it to stay relatively flat. So it's a good job I've, I want to do this page early on in the journal before it gets too bulky. Yeah, that works. And I'm just going to put a slider piece of paper in between it and the next page so I don't get it on the next page by accident. So 
So for this, I've decided I'm going to use my iridescent medium, which is sort of a lovely, sort of shimmery, silvery colour. Uh, you see there, it's got like a bit of shimmer in it. Um, and this is beautiful texture paste for adding because it, it is a solid colour. So you do get block out of the core that's underneath um, but because it's all shimmery it's just so beautiful um, obviously using texture paste in your journal you might need to be wary of drying and the kind of paper that you're doing it on because this is a junk journal of a sort um, it's not the best paper that I'm doing this on too. This is quite cheap magazine paper. Um, but it works fine for doing this sort of thing. You just don't want to use too many very wet mediums. Um, and I don't find that modelling paste is a particularly wet medium. Now, really important when you're using wet media, uh, using modelling paste though. So when you want to stencil off, do it off quite quickly. I'm going to just move that piece from underneath. See how gorgeous that is. Woo! Right, it needs to, it needs to dry. Uh, but important next step is to clean the stencil. So what I do is usually just wipe that bit off. Is stick it on some paper and then give it a good rub with a baby wipe. To clean it up. I'm not so bothered about it being on the stencil um, surround but I definitely don't want any um, sort of congregating in the holes of the stencil so that you lose the definition of the shape next time you go to use it. Um, I'm just going to give it a quick turn over Make sure that that side's done as well. So any that went through has now come off. And give them the fingers a good clean too, because they're covered in iridescent paste. So it takes a little while for modelling paste and stuff to dry. So I am just going to leave it. Some modelling paste you can use um, a heat tool with. Um, this is not one of them. What happens? Well, you could, but what happens is it tends to bubble up, um, and I don't particularly want that to happen. Now I'm just having a little check. The other side, because it's a thin paper, will probably need covering when I get to that page, but I don't anticipate that being an issue. But I just love how that looks. So, whilst we wait for that to dry, I'm going to put it to one side. I'm going to start working on how I want my little cluster to work around the photo and perhaps work on a journaling card of some description. So, what have I grabbed? I've grabbed some washi, and these are all bits and pieces, including the two little fabric trims that I got in my advent swap. Actually, I've not told you about my advent swap, I don't think. So, for the last couple of years, um, on one of the Facebook groups I'm on, there's been um, an advent swap. So, each, so you make for one for each day um, an advent thing. So, we did this last year, it was advent coins, and the previous year we did advent. Um, twinchies and this year 2021 we're back to advent twinchies again um so each day you get to open up um a, a little parcel that's got your advent twinchy or coin in it and also a little just a tiny little array of crafting goodies so i got loads of stuff in fact let me just share with you I got this massive amount of stuff that I've just stuffed into um, a Disney box. 
just just huge amounts of stuff um, and this is the first time i've pulled it out to really play with what i got partly because i am um, as mentioned i had the love of covid so i actually didn't open for a good week and a half i think before i actually started opening things because i was so ill i didn't really leave the bedroom so um but when i did start opening it was such a nice little treat but all I could do was put them in a box. I wasn't I wasn't in any fit state to really play with them or investigate. Um, so this is a scrap of paper that someone sent. These are some washi tapes that somebody's gifted. Some gorgeous gems that I'm thinking might work well on this. The trim. There's all sorts in there. Different scraps of paper and stuff. So I'm thinking these, this was um, like a tiny little gift card um, you would put on your presents. But I just think it's really cool and works really well having that little bit of a silver pop. And also, I'm going to use it to do my journaling on the inside. So, I'm thinking that I might give this a bit of a tear. I want it to be a... There we go. Quite a, a precise tear. That works. I'm thinking that I do see I do keep wanting to use this lace. I'm wondering if I could perhaps put a little bit of it underneath there. I just like the um the dark grey lace. I think that works quite well. Um, but yeah, all these little goodies that came in with my advent swap, perfect, perfect for me having discovered that I really wanted to start drunk journaling. Um, I mean, I always used the swaps previously for just random things, uh, like artist trading coins or uh, twinchies or stuff that I was making again within that group. But in this case, I want to I wanna use quite a lot of it in my junk journaling. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to have to do liquid glue for when I want to glue that down. I'm just going to bring the page in. I know it's not dry, so I'm not going to lift and put anything down. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I do. Now, do I want to add a little bit of that washi? Because I was thinking maybe a little pop of the pink might be quite nice to sort of team in with the, the purple of the hat and snood that I was wearing that day. So that hand snood is actually my daughter's. It was bought for about five years ago, maybe even longer, from Next in the children's department. Um, it fits me perfectly and she never wears it, so I've sort of commandeered it. Because I think, well, why not? She's no bigger than me anyway. Um, I just think it's a really cute hat and snood. You can see it's like... Um, like it's been, well, it's knitted or crocheted or something, but it's really cute. Yeah, I like that. Um, so this particular day, we decided we ought to go for a walk. And actually, we were planning on going for the work, walk the day before, and then it snowed. It snowed and it snowed. Well, where we live, um, so we live in Cheshire, in Warrington in Cheshire. It's quite warm. It never snows. It just doesn't do it. Um, so yeah, it was a massive amount of snow. Well, neither my husband or I thought it would be a good idea to actually go and drive the car in that weather. So we, we persuaded our daughter that we would go the following day instead. So we did indeed. We got up quite early and we went over to Arley Hall and Gardens, which is a beautiful little um, estate uh, just south of where we live in Warrington and um had a fabulous day well fabulous day it was a fabulous morning till late early afternoon uh, about an hour and a bit we walked around the gardens in the gorgeous gorgeous snow it was just delightful loved it um my daughter took hundreds of photographs i took quite a lot of photographs actually this is the only one that um i've printed off so far um, I do need to print some more off. In fact, that's a really good point. Should I 
try and create a pocket behind this so I can put some more in. No, I don't want to make it too bulky and I can always do another page if I fancy it. Or I can make a scrapbook page or something like that. Um, but yeah, we took loads of pictures and um, had great fun walking around the thing. It wasn't too cold. Having said that, I was wearing, I don't want to know how many layers. So my underwear and then a vest and then a long sleeve top and then a jumper and then my coat and my scarf and my hat and on the bottom half of me I had leggings did I have tights on and the leggings? no I had leggings on um, and then a denim skirt and I had long socks on and I had my wellies on That's that was and I stayed warm so it worked um, yeah we had such a magical time walking around in the beautiful snow it was just lovely really lovely day right this is almost mm, not quite almost dry enough for me to do the next stage so i'm wondering if the next stage is working out how i might want to fix this i think it needs to be sewn I think to stay in place it probably needs to be sewn, which I need to do off camera, unless I can staple it. Stapling might work, because I'm going to cover up the next page anyway. I think it needs to be sewn though. Let's see, can we... Oh, staples and cute little staplers never want to staple, do they? Um, well, I've stapled it into place, but I think I'm going to have to sew just around there just so I can create the pocket. Just slide that in. You know what, I could create a couple of tags, couldn't I? So whilst I'm still waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to fold it back. When it's dry enough, I'll be able to uh, decide how to stow it. But I'm thinking maybe to create a couple of tags. So, um, what have I got? So I always go straight to my little folder that's got scrap bits of card in. Sometimes they're slightly bigger than scraps, but I'm wondering whether that works. So I'm going to have to keep bringing the page back in just for colour wise. I think I could probably make a tag out of that. Um, but yeah, I always keep my scrappier pieces of cardstock. So either cardstock I've already cut into or cardstock that I've got out for a purpose. It might have got a little dog eared on the edges. Um, so I always put those into that wallet, which means that I don't cut into brand new cardstock unless I really need to. Um, my favourite thing of all time is the scallop tag topper. Just love it. It's my favourite punch. I've, I've never been quite as obsessed as I am with that, with any other punch ever. I'm thinking that'll make a really nice thing to stick into the pocket and I can put generally on the back of this as well as inside the card and then maybe something on the tag which makes me think we need a little bit of string or something going into there again I'm going to go for my bag of bits and pieces thinking that that's a really nice idea, but it looks like that because it goes with my purple hat. Go with a purple hat. That can I go? Yeah.
I'm wondering if I grab that star stencil again and whether I can um, add some stars onto my little tag. Um, I'm not putting that away yet because I'm not convinced I don't want it. So I quite often grab stencils mainly to um, to add texture paste or colouring or whatever through them. I don't often do this and I should do it more often I think. Um, although this could be a disaster. It might not work quite how I'm expecting it to work but yeah to use it to Draw through, but I think this might be too liquidy. Yeah, it's a big mess. Okay, don't do that, Kathy. I think plan B. There's always a plan B, and that is to just wait for that to dry and do something slightly different. Or create a new tag. There's another thing to do. Seeing as I think by wetting that, I've not done a great job of. Um, I think it's going to end up staining it. So. Never mind. So it's like that never happened. Right. I think in that case we're gonna do it with just normal pen. There we go. So probably not going to be able to talk whilst doing this because apparently there's this concentration work. Now, um, so yeah, I don't often use my stencils in this manner at all. Um, I usually just use them for adding ink or um, texture paste through. So it's quite nice to um, remember that there's another way to use stencils. Um, I said that whether this will actually turn out to look okay or not is another matter but I quite like the idea of just echoing that pattern um, on the tag that is on the background okay that was not perfect but um, it'll do and I'm thinking that now I'll be able to colour it in with my silver Posca pen and I don't think I'll do the stars that way I think this is too thick a Posca pen for me to do that but just colouring in those dots is really cute yeah I like okay uh, no, I'm going to be careful because that Posca paint is still wet. Right, how's this doing? Still a little bit tacky. Okay, I'm going to do my journaling, which I will do off camera. Um, because I like to concentrate on what I'm doing and not think about the camera so bear with okay so I've done my journaling um, so a little bit about where we went about what I was wearing and um, yeah continuing about what I was wearing um, this is dried now so I'm just going to tie my ribbon on this so, hmm, I'm also thinking 
I still love that pink twine. So I'm wondering, actually. I think a little snippet of the, the pink twine would be a good idea. And... Oh, I can hear my tummy rumbling. Must be how you die. Um, thinking. Oh, brain's not working. Right, wrap this round. Front and then tie a bow. I think we'll make a pretty look and perhaps slightly less bulky than the, the ribbon tied into a bow as well. I think I need to just trim the edge of those off a little bit. There you go. What do we think? I think I like, that's what I think. And I think that they will work perfectly in the little pocket. Right, we are still a bit sticky. And because my tummy is telling me it's a bit hungry, so I think we might be pausing now. I'll go and get my tea. And then the next time you see this, it'll be sewn. And I'll talk you through what I've done. I actually think I'm going to just stick that down first. Um... Is not stapling. Try again. There we go. That's better. I prefer it like that, I think. And then I can adjust those round how I want them. But yeah, I think the next time you see this, it'll be um, sewn in a pocket and then it'll be time for finishing touches, I think. Um, but that's going to have to be at least after tea. Before we actually get onto that, I already know finishing touch is going to have to include a little bit of this washi up at the top because I just love it. It's gorgeous washi. That was a close one. Nearly used my um, fabric scissors then. Because everybody else has a pair of fabric scissors that you were. Uh, you don't use anything other than fabric and if anybody in the family needs to use scissors you remind them never to use the ones with the uh, with the ribbon attached because they're your fabric scissors yeah i like that with the uh the bit of pink up at the top so yeah i definitely need to do my job of turning this into a pocket which i can only do when that's stopped being tacky so I shall tidy up. I shall. Oh, I can hear the oven going dingling ling, which means that my daughter's actually remembered that she's cooking tea and has actually sorted. That's good news, isn't it? Um, so perfect time for me to pause, and I'll be back when. Oh, I realise most of it's not even on the screen. Uh, I shall be back when I have done the sewing. Okay, I'm back. I've had my tea, done my sewing. So this has been sewn all along there. So if I turn it over, you can see that. So basically when I get to do this page, I am going to have to cover most of this because it's got quite a lot of the texture from the, um, from the texture paste, which is now completely dried. Um, that has gone through to that and I just think it needs covering. So I'll do that next time, probably. Well, whenever I get to that page. Not entirely happy with that tag, I have to admit, but it'll do for now. And all my journaling's in there. So I want to get some something for a title, I think is required. 
I was thinking Winter Wonderland, but um, I'm going to have a look to see if I've got stickers and stamps or something I can use. I am here with my stickers. in a winter wonderland that seems like the perfect way to talk about this particular day and these pictures and obviously snow i know these are stars rather than snowflakes but you know what i mean anything else <laughs> Here's the season to be jolly because that is perfect for that hat. A leg. Anything else I could use that I can't see? And warm wishes. And if No, I'm not going to put that down. I am, however, wondering if there's any little rub-ons on here that I haven't seen using. Um, No, I don't think I do. It's amazing when you read them and you just think, oh, I want to use that, I want to use that, and then you go, no, no, nothing. I think all that remains for me to do is to perhaps add some gems. Stick in a gem there, maybe. Maybe one here and there. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to use my glassy accents to add these because it's a really secure glue. Um, you don't need much underneath the gem because if I put too much, it'll splurge too much out of the sides. This one's already splurged a little bit, which is fine because it is clear, but obviously, it does provide a bit of a shiny edge to it, unlike using some of the other glues. But I do like how secure it is, especially since this one is being stuck onto fabric. Okay, now I've got a gel pen. I'm thinking I might just want to add a few bits of doodling just in a few places to uh, finish the page off. I think that'll be cute. Um, I think I'm gonna have to stick that down with a bit of proper glue because the washi, obviously, with it being a bit plasticky on that particular washi, wasn't sticking securely. And then I'm gonna call this done. So I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed playing with that. I really enjoyed the texture with that stenciling. I think it's so cute. Not 100% happy about my tag, but it'll do. Um, I really love all the textures here as well with the pocket and um, the lace on the background as well. Um, I think it looks like a really pretty page um, and works so well with the picture and all of the journaling and the story I want wanted to tell excuse me um apparently my tea is just slightly repeating on me apologies for that so if you did enjoy that please do give me a thumbs up thank you for watching um if you've got any comments please pop them below 
um, how do you feel about your journaling and telling the story? I've just thought, I've not actually put the date on, I don't think, on any of the journaling. Nope, so I need to add a date. Um, I think I'll just find my date stamp, actually. Hmm. Which is not at all where I was expecting it to be. I have absolutely no clue where my date stamp is now gone. Well, that's a wee bit of a mystery. Um, okay, I'll find a way and I need to pop the date on this, obviously. Um, it's not good journaling if I don't even include the date of when it all happened. So that's something to be done just off camera to finish off the page. Enough pro prevaricating, is that the right word? I don't know, something like that. Um, I hope you enjoyed and until next time, bye.